This topic is about graphing quadratic functions, and I thought I would pick up from the, the last video and uh, try to graph this. So here are the instructions. Graph the function f of x equals to 2x squared plus 5x plus 1. Now, uh, earlier, when, okay, in the last video we determined where the, uh, the vertex is. When x is negative 5 fourths, the y value is negative 17 eighths. So I'm going to plot that point on the graph. And uh, let me, since I don't trust myself to remember it correctly, I'm going to make a note for myself and, and do some erasing. So let me uh, erase most of the board here, and uh, we'll, we'll get started on this problem. Well, here's um, the beginning of my graph. And, and again, we've... Uh, Here's the original function, and we've already gone through the steps to determine where the vertex is. So let's put that on the graph. Negative 5 fourths is negative 1 and 1 fourth, so it's about here. And negative 17 eighths is uh, about minus 2 and 1 eighths, so it's right about here. All right, so here's our vertex. Negative 5 fourths comma negative 17 eighths. All right, is that visible? Uh, well, I think it is. Okay. <laughs> Look at my monitor and there's a button in the way of that. Okay, uh, so there's the bottom of my graph, the least value. Now, to graph this, you know, one technique is just to plug points in and do some calculations and plot those points and, and, and go from there. What I want to do is... Um, take advantage of the symmetry of this graph and also the, uh, the relationship between uh, x and the, the leading term, 2x squared. And so let's, uh, before I do that, I want to review the, the basic y equals x squared parabola. So the basic y equals x squared parabola works like this. I have a vertex at the origin. This is y equals x squared. And when x equals 1, y equals 1. When x is negative 1, y is positive 1. When x is 2, y is 4. And likewise over here. So this parabola goes up this way. And, and what's happening here? If I take the original basic parabola, and if I go right one unit, I go up one unit from the origin. I'm sorry, from the, uh, the vertex. And if I go left one unit, I also go up one unit. But if I go right two units, I go up four units. And why is that? It's because we're squaring the x's. And so when you get when you stray from the vertex by amount of x, you square that number and that gives you the change in y. So I'm looking at the change in y relative to the change in x through this parabola. Now what happens here? y equals 2x squared means that there's been a stretch by a factor of 2. That means I'm going to double these y values. So in other words, if I move one unit to the right of the vertex, then I'm going to go up by two units, twice as much. Right there. So instead of right one up one, I went right one up two. And so if I go left one unit, I have to go up two units to there. So now I am estimating negative 5 fourths and negative 7 eighths, 17 eighths, and now we have uh, fractions there. And now let's see, if I go right two units, how, how far up do I go? Well, instead of going right to up four, I have to double that. I go right two units and up eight twice as much. So write two units, up eight units, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Puts me up about here, so I'm gonna stand in front and try to get this kind of accurate. There we go. And likewise here, if I go left from the vertex by two units, I go up by eight units, and that puts me about here. Okay. So, and I'll, I'll work another one or two of these, because I know this is a little, <laughs> this might be a little hard to get on the first example here. 
Um, but, but I'm using the relative changes in the, this parabola, y equals 2x squared, because it kind of works this way. This parabola, this entire parabola we're trying to graph, is basically y equals 2x squared that's been shifted around, and this accounts for all those shifts, vertical horizontal shifts. And so um, I'm basically graphing y equals 2x squared with my starting point at the vertex. All right, so I'm going to erase this, get it out of the way. Whoops, erase my point up here. Uh, it was right there. Okay, so let's draw a nice parabola. And I did something I should have mentioned before I drew this. I also made sure it went through 1. Now, how come I know that goes through 1? <laughs> because if you plug 0 in for x, f at 0 is 1. And that's the y-intercept point. So another piece of information I think is, is nice to have on these graphs is the y-intercept. Crosses there at 1. All right, so I have on this graph, I have the vertex plotted out. I have four other points plotted. I also have the y-intercept plotted. All right, so six points, and it's a pretty nice graph. Uh, I'll put an arrow here. Now, the only thing that's missing are the scale numbers, so we need some scale numbers. Oops, wrong scale numbers. Two and three. That way your reader knows what scale you're using. And we're done. We, uh, we graph y equals 2x squared plus 5x plus 1. All right, um, that was kind of a rough one to start off with. So, uh, but, but let's do another one.